Vengeance was the name of the game on October 6th as the Glenbard West girls tennis team tried to avenge their previous defeat to the Hinsdale Central Red Devils. Back on September 11, 2020, the Gales from Glen Ellen lost to 8 CHS by the narrowest of defeats, 4-3. But this time around, the Hilltoppers would be at home, hoping that their home court would be the X-Factor in determining a match victory. The afternoon of October 6th started off great for the Hilltoppers, as they took an early 2-0 lead by winning two of their singles matches. GWHS won the majority of their singles match play events. Chanel Lopez defeated Nicole Hugh in straight sets, 6-2 during the first set, and then again 6-2 in set number two. Susanna Maltby took Lopez's victory and raised her one that was even better by easily getting past Yasmina Ishak in straight sets, 6-2 and 6-1. However, Hinsdale Central avoided the sweep of singles matches by seeing Chloe Atlan come through in the clutch. Atlan was a menacing force on the court, defeating Margaret McFarland in two consecutive sets, 6-1 and a perfect 6-0. And once the doubles event started, there was no chance of a Glenbard West victory. Hinsdale Central swept through all five of the doubles events. It was literally a clean sweep, as the Red Devils overmatched the Hilltoppers a complete 10-0, five straight set victories. Just incredible. The first of five doubles wins came the way of the Sophia Kim and Prachi Shaw Power Hour. It was a bend but not break strategy from Kim and Shaw, as they gave their opponents an inch, but definitely not the whole nine yards. A 6-1, 6-1 straight set win over their Glenbard West counterparts in Elizabeth Fossey and Lauren Debs. Shaw talks about what she worked on vigorously to get ready for this much-anticipated conference matchup. Um, I just worked on my cross courts. I knew I needed to be solid. Uh, I think that's a big part of girls' doubles is being able to be solid cross court. Next up was Emma Bagansky and Kalista Chang. Ava Johnson and Nora Chirilla brought their rackets to the court, but they didn't bring a lot of dubs to the table. A combined 12-1 victory in straight sets for this Hinsdale Central pairing. Chang talks about what she specifically does with her backhand to make it almost impossible to defend. Um, I just try to, try to hit all my backhands cross court. Uh, I'm not really good at hitting it down line, so I just try to keep it cross court. Third time was definitely the charm for the Red Devils. Elizabeth Singer and Shannon Stover never allowed their doubles opponents in Simone Annan and Caitlin Conosenti to ever get in a rhythm. It was the exact same score in each set, 6-1 and 6-1. Charlie Nothvogel and Ann Mitten went the way of Glenbard West futility against the hands of Hinsdale Central doubles players Gia Sankara and Ann Mitten. The final scores were 6-1 and 6-0 respectively. As for the fifth doubles match, things got kind of interesting towards the end. It was an easy 6-2 victory during the first set for HCHS double pairs Zoe Limparis and Bridget Novatny, but the second set was anything but simple. With the Hilltoppers trailing 5-4 during the second set, Mira Karnagis and Emma Chirilla asked for a judge's ruling on the score being 30-15 instead of 30-30. The judge ruled in favor of the Red Devils, and the Hilltoppers just couldn't get over the net after that stoppage in play. Consecutive double falls paved the way to a Hinsdale Central nearly won 6-4 win. Tuesday was absolutely the day to be a Hinsdale Central doubles player. What's even more impressive is Lampara says she didn't even play her best game during the road contest. My serve hasn't been very good lately, but I toughed it out, and I just made sure I got my serves in. Me and Bridget both played very well, and we kept the balls in, just played very smart. Meanwhile, her doubles partner in Novatny talked about what she's been working on during practice. I've just tra been trying to keep working on my cross court, because I struggle with that a lot, but I think today I did a pretty good job going cross court, so I think that's what helped us get the win. An overall 6-2 win for the Hinsdale Central Red Devils, who won a perfect 5-0 during the doubles competitions. The Red Devils are still undefeated this season and will look to remain undefeated during this weekend's West Suburban Conference Tournament. Reporting for Sports Broadcast Solutions, I'm Kyle Smith.